Rain chances slowly decrease over the islands. Winds are up. In fact, there's a wind advisory in place for Maui County as well as the Big Island through tomorrow evening. Vog levels are still at around moderate with those winds clearing out any remaining pockets of fog and high surf for the east sides. And we should see a similar situation tomorrow like we saw today, which was cloudy skies and windward showers moving through those cloudy skies for both leeward and windward spots. Across the islands now, 78 in Kailua, Kona and Honolulu, 75 Hilo and Kahului, 74 for Molokai as well as Lihue. And here's our storm system that moved through the weekend. It's now kind of stationary and to the west of the state, but some of the high clouds Clouds associated with the storm are streaming over the islands. That's why we're seeing the overcast right now. But the forecast models do have the system pushing farther away eventually. And with it, that cloud cover starting to clear the islands. Weather maker right now, high pressure. That's why we're seeing these strong trades over the state. As far as the future radar and the rain goes, much of the heavy rain is expected to be to the west of the islands, although some of it might start to move through, especially from the south over Kauai and Oahu by Thursday or so. We're not looking at a repeat of the heavy rain, but some days wetter than others. Tomorrow looks like a drier than normal day, and then we could see a few more showers on Thursday. So until then, just windward showers moving over all islands today. Wettest over the Big Island, Hilo Puna districts, as well as Waimea. East Maui seeing a little bit of that rain as well. Drier conditions for Lanai as well as Molokai. And for Oahu, just some misty rain. Not really much as far as total accumulation. On Kauai, it was definitely Mount Waialeale deep in the interior that saw the most rain as far as those rain gauge totals. High surf for the east sides, that's up on trades. Well, tomorrow, 9 to, uh, 9 to 13 feet, 2 to 4 for the north shore, no more than 2 footers for the west and south shore, flat to 3. 100 percent of our advisories right now have to do with strong winds, whether it's a wind advisory for Maui and the Big Island, a gale warning, or a small craft advisory. So another day of those windy conditions, easterlies 20 to 35, gusts upwards to 55 miles per hour with mostly cloudy skies. And then those trades decrease a notch around Thursday, down to about 25 plus miles per hour with drier conditions taking over Friday, just in time for the weekend. We'll have the trades all the way through next week with sunny skies for you to enjoy as we start to dry off this week. Joe, back to you.